Alright everybody, welcome back to Mega Man X6. We are now on part seven and we are on our um we are on our item gathering mission now. Since we have defeated all eight app mavericks, um so we're going to rescue all the remaining reploids and get the remaining items that we still need to obtain. Uh, let me see. So we have one hundred percent of the magma area. Um recycle lab still needs people, central museum, that's not gonna be fun. Now the temple is hundred percent. So let's go ahead and get the uh, armor piece and, or actually, um, yeah, we'll go to the weapon center. Notice how over half the reploids are still missing from the weapon from the weapon center. There's a reason for that. Um, actually, we need to get a better nightmare effect on the weapon center, so we'll come back to that point. I don't remember what the other... Oh, that's right, we need to go to Metal Shark Player for that. Okay, because uh, every stage is affected by one of two Nightmare Effects. Alright, so let's actually go to the Amazon area instead. Um, we'll clean this area out and go to the bonus zone on this level. I'm not sure if it's actually possible to um, kill the pill bugs. I know it is impossible to kill the uh, the manti permanently. to obtain here. Alright, so... Oh, can't go that way anymore. So, that's fine. Now, this place is kind of annoying because you have to be very careful. Uh, those are instant death spikes, and if you hit the enemies, they roly-poly, and you fall off of them. And there's also the problem of the fact that you can't see where you're going! This is why we bring Zero, because Zero can double jump. We've already cleared out the rest of this area, so let's go ahead and quit and go back. Oh, we got the life recover. The life recover is a limited part that acts exactly like a sub tank without having to refill it. You just get to use it once per stage. Um, that's generally the limited part you want to have equipped. Especially if you take a lot of damage. So let's go ahead and get those guys equipped. Uh, let's see here. Back to the Amazon area one more time with zero so that we can get go to the bonus area, get some more souls from Dynamo, and get the remaining uh, Reploids to rescue. Don't really care about damage right now. More concerned with getting to the 
area, or get into the bonus area. Okay, now a little bit concerned with damage, but that's why we have life recovery. They also fixed the glitch with Hyper Dash between X6 and X7, so it no longer shortens your dash. I can't remember if there are nightmares in this area. But either way, it's definitely a take it slow because you have the... Uh, you have the uh, wind against you, especially since we last went to Rainy Turtleoid before resetting this area's nightmare. Oh yes. Okay, I don't think there's... I actually don't think there's any nightmares in this zone. But, this place is not very friendly. actually get through this area? That's the real question. I'm pretty sure he can. with those stupid with the stupid mantis enemies I can't believe I actually survived that I think I need to get the jumper part before I can go through here well, we've got until the end of this life, because I don't think it's going to let me... Yeah, it's not going to let me escape out, since uh, since I, I haven't actually beaten this part of the level. We need to inspect that pit. I don't think... I think I missed something in there. No, not really. I think I might need the jumper part in order to get through, be able to get through this. That's how you do it. Or almost. Okay, now I remember how to get through here with zero. Of course, that would actually require getting back to that point. Yeah, like I said. Amazing level design in this game. Right. 
There we go. Huh. Okay, there's no Reploids in this. But sure. Alright. Time to fight Dynamo. Yay! With, one, with no lives left. That's fine. It's not like Dynamo can actually hurt us. Oh yes, make sure to pick up the Nightmare Soul that he drops, because otherwise um, it will disappear, and you'll lose it. Okay, so next on the list, um, let's see, who we, alright, you are 100%, um, we can't go to you yet because we don't have the full blade armor, um, you are 100%, okay, let's go actually, let's go to the Central Museum, see if we can get the armor piece in this area. Once again, uh, variance is a bitch because this entire level is variance. We want to go here because we're going to the recycle lab next, um, so that we can get the armor part and remaining reploids in the recycle lab. Come on, come on. I think I've gone through this. Uh, actually, I think I have gone through this zone before. Yep, we've gone through this zone before. through this one before. Yep, we've been through this one before because there are no Reploids to rescue. Oh yeah, be careful. The totem can hurt you. As if it wasn't already uh, apparent. Made it to the checkpoint. Now let's see. Is this somewhere new? Um, I'm not sure. Is it? Nope. 
Well, actually, this is this leads to the bonus area, so we'll go ahead and just take the bonus exit. So we're in the bonus area, so now X is going to get to encounter Dynamo. This area is pretty straightforward. Um, as you can see, there are nightmares, so you have to watch out for that. I can't remember if there are any uh, if there are any Reploids in this area. Well, we'll find out in a minute. Doesn't look like it. Oh, wait, there's one. Nope, you ain't getting them. Okay. So, the way we fight Dynamo, exactly the same as Zero. We use the Meteor Rain. Yeah, X doesn't quite have as easy a time fighting Dynamo as Zero does, but it's still fairly simple. Okay, so what the overdrive does is it's, um, if I remember correctly, it is a temporary, uh, basically, ma uh, I believe it turns on the ultimate buster, essentially, temporarily, um, basically making you do nothing but charge attacks. Um, it's okay, it's not great. Generally, you'll want to just have the life recover as your, <clears throat> as your limited weapon of choice, simply because it's the most powerful. Alright, so uh, we're going right back in so that we can try and, you know, actually find some new Reploids. It's best not to reset the central museum when you're uh, farming it, or when you're trying to find all the Reploids. That way you can tell whether or not you've been into a sub-area or not, what, by whether or not the um, nightmares give souls. Because nightmare, once a nightmare has been defeated, it will not give a soul until it, uh, it will not give a soul again until the nightmare effect has been reset. So, for example, this is a new area. Uh, we were not here previously. But I think I was here the first time I went through with X. And got those two guys, and then we came to the place where X could not pass. Where unarmored X could not pass. But see the oh yep. See the other thing about this is, even though there are like six or seven individual sub areas, the sub areas themselves also have variants. Um, so they change depending on what whatever the game feels like. Okay. 
This was the area we went to the first time we came to zero and the Reploid got infected. So we need to go slow, make sure that we don't scroll him on the screen by accident. Like that. And this is why we hate variants. Come on, come on, come here. That's another area clear. Now we have to fight this totem again. This is a new area, I believe. Yep. I believe there's only one more unique area we still have yet to encounter. And that's the one with the armor piece in it, but whether or not we actually get to it, um, yeah. That's gonna be a little tricky. Oh, well, what do you know? Alright, so this is the helmet piece for the blade armor. And we need to rescue this guy before that nightmare gets any ideas. Because the nightmares are still active while you are in the ar while you are downloading armor data. So you need to be careful about that. Make sure to thoroughly explore. I can't remember if there are two or three guys in here. Oh well. Doesn't matter. And as soon as we go into the boss room, it will teleport us out. And we'll go ahead and check and see if we got all the guys. Because if we didn't, it's going to be annoying. Alright, so we only have one piece left of the blade armor to recover. 
um, which is the arm parts. Uh, what level are they in? I'm actually not 100% sure. I believe they are in the... No, that's the uh, that's a piece of the shadow armor. I'm pretty sure that's shadow armor. You know, I don't remember. But let's see here. More pull, still need people from 100%. Um, we need three more guys. Those, those three are all in the bonus area for the uh, Recycle Lab, so we'll be going there next. Um, Central Museum, 100%, good. Uh, Inami Temple, 100%, Laser Institute, and only got one guy left, that's that one guy that we needed a double jump to get to. And we'll be getting him once we complete the Blade Armor. Um, Weapon Center has a whole bunch of dudes. And it's going to take a while to get them, because we're going to be suiciding quite a bit in that area. North Pole, most of those guys I know where they are. Alright, so let's go ahead and go to the Recycle Lab with the Falcon Armor. So, the Shadow Armor part and the uh, Bonus area are right next to each other, and both require going through the second Crusher area. Um, instead of taking the Teleporter, instead of taking the Down Teleporter to the third Crusher area, uh, you instead take the, you instead follow the path, um, and hope that you don't get crushed and have to go back through the second crusher area again. Well, you'll see what I mean when you get there. We want, um, the Scaravich, uh, Nightmare Effect in this stage because it makes getting to the armor piece and bonus area easier. Unfortunately, it also makes getting through the second pressure area that much harder, which I'll show you in just a little bit. Well, as you saw, when we went through it the first time. Fortunately, we've already rescued all the Reploids up to this point, so we don't need to... Now remember what I said, watch, even though even though we can knock this under, it does not actually stop the crusher. So be wary about that. Because um, it will it will come in uh, into effect later on. Oh, and the enemies are not actually hurt by the blocks. You can knock them into enemies all you want, it won't actually do anything. But uh, knocking around the blocks does not actually consume weapon energy. You, you only use weapon energy if you actually fire the weapon. And that's important because uh, we're going to need to use the blocks to set up a uh, pathway. Or to set up a, uh, like a jump ramp, essentially. Right, come here, you. I do not need you slowing me down. Sets. Go. And here comes the fun parts. Um, let me see here. Here. So what we need to do is essentially we need to set up a bit of a ramp so that we can uh, jump.
I think I actually screwed this up. Unfortunately, it's fairly easy to reset this. You just need to scroll it off screen and back on. Okay. Um, let's see here. See if we can make it. Made it. Oh, yeah. So it's a pain. And now we get the head program of the shadow armor. And now we go to the bonus area, where the last reploid is hiding, where we get to fight Dynamo again, and we get a right armor segment. It's also auto scrolling. So, yeah. Well, I mean, I guess part of it being okay. There are nightmares in here, so be careful, but there is only one Reploid and he's all the way at the end, so as long as you're fast, you shouldn't have to worry about nightmares. But you definitely want to keep the right armor throughout the entire segments. It just makes your life a whole lot easier, because then you don't have to worry about the crusher. Unless stuff like that happens. And if you get out of the right armor once the auto scroller segment starts, it w um, the conveyor belt will take it off the screen and you will lose it for the remainder of the segment. So be careful about that. Unfortunately, the blocks uh, from Ground Scaravich are completely invulnerable except to the uh, Ground Dash. You cannot break them otherwise, not even with the right armor. Instead, you get to be crushed.
Now just imagine trying to go through that. No, you don't. Now just imagine trying having to go through that without the armor. Even with the uh, even with the uh, few times that I got crushed to death thanks to the uh, ground scarabish nightmare blocks. Yeah, it's not pleasant. All right, time to fight the idiot once again. Yeah, you have to actually hit him really quick, uh, twice, for him to drop the 200 Nightmare Soul. And actually, I think I only got two from him. Because I missed my chance for the first few times. Oh, well. Uh, the hyperdrive is basically a invulnerability, um, so it gives you a temporary invulnerability when it uh, is active. Um, the shock buffer reduces all damage taken by half. It does not stack with the armors, so there's no real point for using it for X. So it is fairly useful for zero, because zero takes damage like a sponge. We almost have all of the Reploids rescued. Um, we're going to go ahead and take a quick break here. So uh, I will be back in just a few minutes. Um, stay tuned.